Welcome to this tutorial in which we're going to explain how the AR face effects works and how to make it work into your project. First of all, you have to go to the asset store and download and import the OpenCV plus Unity that is a completely free uh, package in which we can use the computer vision features from OpenCV. So you have to import it into your project and once you have done that, you will see that you have an OpenCV plus Unity folder here. Another thing you have to do is go to uh, build settings, to the player settings, and um, you have to enable in uh, this part here, in other settings, you have to enable the unsafe code, allow unsafe code here. Otherwise, the OpenCV won't work properly. Once you have followed these steps, we need to import the database that is used by the OpenCV in order to find the landmarks of the face that uh, is going to be displayed on the camera. To do so, you can go ahead and use the link that is in the description of the asset or in the documentation. And once you have opened that link, into your um, browser, you will be able to download this file here. It's inside downloads. So we have the option to extract. Okay, so we're going to extract it. Once it's extracted, you have to change the dat by bytes. You say yes. And then you copy this, you copy this into your project, in this case into the asset resources and you place it there. Once you have done that, you will have everything configured to start using our project. When you import our package, you will have these different folders. You have the AR face effects with the materials, models, prefab, scenes, scripts, and textures. And check if you have the OpenCV plus Unity uh, imported properly, as you can see here in this image. And check if you have the shape predictor in your resources. If you don't have that into uh, in the same way we show it in this video, you will have to follow the importing part of uh, this tutorial that is at the beginning of the, of the video. Let's explain, first of all, the different scenes that we have uh, introduced into the project. First of all, you will have a short menu that allows you to move between one scene and another. And then we have two different scenes, one that is uh, used for the 2D effects and one that is used for the 3D effects. Let's explain first the 2D effects. If you hit play, you will see the following. You will see how the camera starts detecting uh, the feedback from the webcam and it's being displayed into the screen of the uh, of the editor now if you hit the first button here you will be able to show the triangulation of your face as you can see we have two points here uh, for the eyes one uh, two points for the mouth one point for the nose and another one for the chin these three points uh, these five points sorry will be used in the future for the 3d modeling uh, pose estimation that I will explain after. But the most interesting of this asset is uh, how we can add different effects to our, to our face. For example, you can hit in the mustache button and you will be able to add a, a part of an image into your face here in this position and it's going to track the movement of your face. 
Something similar happens with the lifts that can be added to or uh, disabled and the sunglasses, for example. So you have different options in order to uh, create different effects for your game by uh, adding these uh, images in, into your, your head. It's, go, it's also going to track the rotation of your head and to end this part of the, of the example we're going to add also a hat that can be uh, introduced into your, into your forehead. Now let's explain the different game objects that we can see here on the, on the right and the different scripts that we're using. The main script is called the AR Face Tracking 2D that as you can see is related to a surface that is going to be the image that is being here is being shown here with my face and then we have the faces A, A's and shapes the shapes is important to um, relate it to the shape predictor that has been imported into your project okay so this is related to that then we have a reference image that is inside the uh, raw image that contains the camera feedback and it's used to adapt the position of the different uh, sub images then we have the polygon and the spheres that are used for the this uh, polygon generated face with the different spheres that show the different points or control points of my landmark i'm going to deactivate this and um, then we have the nose axis, the eye for the ax the eye axis left, the eye axis right, and the mouth axis, and finally the forehead. So in fact, what we are doing is we are attaching a different axis to that points that we have obtained using the triangulator mesh and adding the images inside those axes. So for example, if you want to change the style of the, of the, uh, of the sunglasses, what you can do is go to this, this image and change it for whatever you want. For example, if you want to change that for uh, this image, you will see that it's adapted. Okay, so it's really easy to change the objects you want to display in the different axes of your eyes or of your uh, mustache or of your of your nose or uh, of your lips so those are there are inside uh, nose eyes left and right mouth axis and forehead uh, after that we have a container uh, game object that in fact what it does is contain the spheres that are being created here for the control points so that is just a container for uh, distances of the game objects and um, then we have a scene manager that is going just to take us to the main me menu at the beginning that I have shown you before and the event system so that's all it's really easy to, uh, to use, to read it, to understand and what we are going to do now is to go over a little bit the script of uh, the processor so we're going to open it and show you just the part of the effects because it's the most important part so I'm going to explain how we are achieving this first of all what we do is as you can see here I'm going to do it a little bit bigger we're going to obtain a distance a distance first of all to rescale the game objects this is because whenever I get farther from the camera as you can see the objects are going to be scaled to my face they're going to stick to the correct uh, scale accordingly to the size of my face uh, regarding the distance between the camera and, and myself so this is done using this value here distance 
then we have to obtain the rotation okay the rotation of my head like this or like this and this is achieved thanks to this part of the code then I'm going just to explain how the axis of the nose are detected so the axis here on my nose are detected thanks to uh, setting the reference image to the positions of the nose which are face marks 34 so if you go here in this image you can see that we have 33 34 is the position of my nose the nose, nose uh, tip so this is all regarding how the 2d effects work now let's go and check how the 3d effects work let's stop this simulation and go to the effects 3d now the effects 3d allows the user to introduce 3d models using a pose estimation the pose estimation as you will see allows us also to create uh, different animations and particle effects so whenever i'm going to open my mouth the particles are going to show uh, and go from my mouth to the outside. Let's check it. So, whenever I open my mouth, the hearts are being instantiated. Okay, and you can check that my glasses are being estimated in the position that uh, in space, in the position of space, thanks to the uh, solve PMP algorithm. For more information, you can check the documentation. But in this case, as you can see, if I rotate my head, the glasses are going to rotate with me, and I'm able to uh, to face and um, create those hertz in a specific direction in function of where I'm, I'm talking in this case, okay? So uh, the difference between this code and the other one, if we open the AR face processor, processor uh, 3D, the difference is that at the end, Let's see if I can find it. We have this, this part here, PMP post estimation. So in fact, what we're doing is we're checking one, two, three, four, five, and six points from the face that are um, obtained from a model, a real model of a person, in this case for my face, and we're comparing those points to the ones that are obtained uh, through the image, as you can see here. For each int in A, and A is going to be the points that contain the nose tip, the chin, the eyes, etc. Those points that are going to be image points are related to uh, the object points through this solve PMP. And whenever we have that, thanks to the Rodriguez uh, me method, we're able to obtain the rotation and position of, uh, in this case, the glasses and the axes that are used to instantiate the particles. So this is all regarding the, the asset. I hope you like it. I hope you consider downloading it and sharing it with your friends. Uh, if you want to change the different models, it's really easy because in this case we have the axis, for example, we have the nose axis here and we have the sunglasses that you can edit really easy, this model, and you can change it through another model and you can do the same for the particles. So in fact you can use whatever thing you need uh, and whatever thing you, you can think of in order to uh, create your specific um, face tracking device. Thanks very much for watching.